makes your project mobile if you need to move it? Absolutely, because when you get to the point where you're wrapping your copper, you can pick up your whole board, sit down in front of the TV, watch TV while you're wrapping copper, the foil, because that's a tedious part of the project. I mean, if you don't have to sit down in your um, studio the whole time or your workspace, so much the better. Okay. And you can see this has holes all along the edge. You don't have to put a pin in every single hole. Just make sure that the, um, the bars are solid. You can also use um, rulers or you know wooden rulers or wooden um, yardsticks. Cut down and use, well, you can even use push pins or nails to anchor those in place. Anything that will create your um, create your, your square frame edge. As long as it, do we need to, uh, is, is uh, burning a concern? Um, not with rulers, you don't get it that hot. You're not putting your um, soldering iron directly on it. And with wood, wood's not going to be affected by the chemicals that you use. That's not gonna be a problem. Uh, Betty, Betty asks, I'm a fused glass artist and am watching your presentation with great interest. It seems that the stained glass is more brittle to cut than fusing glass. Is that the case? Not necessarily. It just depends on the glass. Uh, the properties of glass is different. Um, you will find I've worked with fused glass that's very brittle. It just depends on how artistically created the glass is. Uh, they, yeah, in fact, I've used fused glass in stained glass projects or glass that was made for fusible projects. And in some cases, they are created and they're compatible for either use. So it's not necessarily the case. Glass, all glass has a personality of its own. So it's just the glass, not necessarily art glass or fusible glass. Okay, so now we're gonna set this aside but we have it ready for our glass that we're now going to grind. All right, so here's my grinder. 